Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today is, by subscriber request, a pick a card reading with the question, what is my psychic ability? On, I think it was a few pick a card readings ago, uh, one of my subscribers asked me if I could do this question, so ta-da, here we are. Um, remember that my pick a card readings are general. I'm just kind of trying to tap into the general energy of the people that are going to pick certain pile or piles and the people that of course are going to kind of listen to all of the messages and pull things together for themselves, kind of taking the bits and pieces that make sense to them. Um, of course, leaving, you know, out anything that doesn't make sense to people or doesn't connect to people. Um, but you know, if you want something that is more tailored for you more specific then of course you know definitely go check out the links down below they uh, link to my website uh, and my Etsy shop as well where I do have readings for one-on-one -on -one attention so with that in mind uh, let's go ahead and look at the decks that I am using today I'm gonna be using the invisible light tarot and I'm gonna be using the inner compass oracle. I just kind of felt like some of, I mean, minus the tarot deck, some of my smaller oracle decks. I'm going to be using, well, one that's inside of here. This is the Pinchers du Monde. There we go. So we're going to be using that one today as well. And actually, ah, I have some little lovely daffodils that are off to the side here. Uh, and that was a gift from a lovely friend at work. Uh, she had a student drop them by my classroom. So I thought that was really nice. And I didn't want to keep them in my classroom because, uh, to be honest, my classroom is underground. It really is. I don't have any windows nor any natural light. And the flowers would basically crumble in that environment. So I brought them home where they can get some actual wonderful uh, light, natural light. I have four piles, uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, I have a little leaf above, you know, maybe if you want to go with the, the leaf that is calling to you. These leaves are actually dried from my uh, rose bushes out front. Um, and today I actually brought in one of my very special feathers. This is my uh, egret feather uh, that I got oh, when I was walking around the uh, Sweetwater Reservoir, which is right near my house. And um, I tend to be followed by these giant white egrets kind of when I'm driving, like no matter where I go. So I just kind of figured uh, for this reading, it would be um, very beneficial. Go ahead and ground and center yourself and uh, go to the pile or piles that you're most drawn to. I will put a time stamp down below so you can skip ahead at your leisure. And let's go ahead and begin with the question, what is my psychic ability? Okay, we're gonna start with pile number one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn these over here. We have the four of air. We have the cool breeze. Okay, that's interesting. We got the four of air, we got the cool breeze. And uh, then we have intuition. How freaking cool is that? By the way, I don't see these cards until I actually do this video. <laughs> so this is pretty awesome. Um, so what I'm getting here, not only a lot of like mental imagery, but with the Four of Air or the Four of Swords, what I'm really getting here is somebody who tends to dream their intuition. So like a dream a lot of... Um, Things. So either they are visited by spirit in their dreams. Uh, you may even have those weird dreams where the next day um, it's like bits and pieces of your dream are actually playing out. Uh, and it can be silly things. Like I get some, uh, sometimes I get this every once in a while, like it'll be, I dream somebody's telling a joke and it could be the lamest joke in the world. <laughs> and the next day I overhear somebody telling that exact same joke that I heard in my dream. Um, you know, and, and it'll be like little things like that where you see a particular car in your dream, uh, maybe even the license plate number, and then you see that car and license plate number, that car with the broken tail light, like you see it later in your waking life. So what I'm getting for this person's intuition is a lot of their uh, psychic ability comes to them. I mean, you may have a lot of different Claire's, like you may be clairaudient and clairvoyant and things like that, but I feel like uh, your strongest um, ability at the moment is your ability to um, uh, be more um, alive intuitively in your dreaming state. 
So that's kind of like, well, that's, you know, when our minds are, are at rest, our bodies are at rest, um, our guards have come down, our egos have come down, and we're just totally open to, you know, everything that's going on in the, you know, dimensions and atmosphere and world around us. So, um, for this person who picked pile number one, and remember some people are picking multiple piles. This could be part of somebody's psychic ability, but I really feel like a lot of what comes to you psychically comes to you through dreams, comes to you through your, um, brain switched off state. This could also be meditation as well, but, um, I'm really seeing a sleeping state with this one. So this one, very cool. And P.S. I just love how your cards all fit together. I'm just saying. <laughs> so that's it for pile number one. Okay, we're going into pile number two. What is my psychic ability? What is your psychic ability? Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So we have the king of air. We have orange. And, and uh, the Pinterest Dumont, they have color cards in here. Uh, so to me, that's uh, kind of correlating with the chakras. And then we have Wisdom. Interesting. So orange, uh, that would be more of your sacral chakra. And we have the King of Air, which is mental. And then we have Wisdom, which I'm also feeling mental as well. Um, but I like to notice here that the blue... And the bird is matching the blue uh, in the sash here. So kind of that, almost that royal blue. Um, so I am getting more of a crown chakra here. Okay, so what am I getting for this person? Um, okay, so what I'm getting for this person's psychic ability uh, is you get a lot of, I wouldn't say... Uh, too many downloads that have much to do with our physical world. You may be getting some really spiritual downloads, like um, things that have to go beyond this world, like really into the spiritual realm, really into like our existence type stuff, like really like heady um, type, uh, you know, philosophical uh, information coming down from um, source energy through your crown chakra and it's actually connecting with what I'm seeing here the sacral chakra which is where a lot of our uh, <laughs> we have a lot of sexual energy there but we have a lot of our um, feeling energy in there uh, not quite like uh, the heart chakra um, but just a, a, a deeply visceral emotional state and so I feel like you have a tendency to really, um, instead of see the information or hear the information come in, you feel the downloads, these very heavy, um, very esoteric, um, just downloads coming in from your crown chakra. So you have a lot of big messages coming in. Um, you possibly could be working with some, um, uh, you know, a lot of us work with, you know, gods, goddesses, angels, um, you know, different deities uh, from different rel religions. Uh, and I feel like you do work a lot with um, maybe beings that have never taken a physical form. Um, and the downloads that you do get, which you feel, um, you feel like you must pass on this information. Like it's for the benefit of mankind, like that kind of like heavy, heady type stuff where it's like, this is like for our world stuff. This is like mankind kind of stuff. This isn't, um, so like, does he like me or like, will I get that job? Like, uh, your downloads are not really of this plane. Um, it is to help the people of this plane, uh, but you're, you got some, you got some big downloads coming in from that crown chakra of yours. So whoever got this one, maybe you picks this pile as well as a different pile, but, um, I really feel like you are deeply feeling <laughs> this like information for humanity coming in through your crown chakra. Very interesting. All right. Pile number two, that is it for you. On into pile number three. What is your psychic ability? Let's go ahead and turn these over here. Let's take a look. Okay, we have the nine of air. 
a lot of air cards in here, a lot of uh, very mental um, cards of mind thinking type cards. Okay, we have blue. Um, so the blue, I'm thinking blue chakra, uh, so that would be the more of the throat chakra for me, or it could be third eye, depending on the blue. Uh, and then we, here we have gratitude. Okay, um, so what I'm getting for this person, um, kind of a mixture of the throat and the third eye chakra with this one, because I'm kind of looking at the maroon here, plus I'm looking at some of the colors that are uh, in these surrounding cards. kind of like how all the colors are blending together, um, but I feel like this person operates through their, uh, their third eye and their throat chakra work in conjunction. I feel like this person... Um, wasn't very vocal as a child or a teenager, but has since become very vocal about um, things that they know to be true. <laughs> um, and because they show a lot of gratitude for their abilities, their abilities have become much stronger as of late. So I'm feeling like this is uh, more of an adult, um, not necessarily having to be like an older, older adult, but uh, somebody who has uh, matured, um, after a brief period of feeling silenced uh, or feeling almost uh, held down like a child. Um, so with this person uh, with the nine of air, um, and this lady is laying in a graveyard, by the way, I just kind of noticed that, um, really feeling like this person can uh, kind of tap into the minds of others who feel like they can't speak like this person couldn't speak, uh, speak out about what was going on around them when they were a child or when they were a teenager. Again, I'm getting that like kind of youthful feel. And this person is able to tap into the energy of these people who were once like themselves. It doesn't matter the age of the person that they're tapping into, but somebody they make that connection with who was once like them. And they are able to speak out for them uh, because they just somehow know what that person is going through and what that person wants to say. And they have a lot of gratitude for their ability to do that. And a lot of people have gratitude for them uh, for being able to do what they can do. Uh, so this person tends to help a lot of people. Maybe you're in a counseling type position and you're just like, oh, I'm just kind of really good at doing that. That's actually because it's a psychic ability. <laughs> um, you have the ability to talk to somebody, automatically just know this maybe not on a, a conscious level, but you just know that this person who's once like you um, cannot speak out for themselves at the moment. Uh, you can teach them to do so because you learned how to do so. Um, but yeah, I'm just really getting that you speak for them because automatically you just know you can tap into their soul, into their life, and you know exactly what they're going through. You know exactly what's going on with them. They're being silenced. They're not speaking out. And so you tend to be that voice for them. And that's a really awesome ability. A lot of people have gratitude for you. They thank you so much. Um, and uh, you've learned to be very thankful for your gift as well. So very awesome pile number three. Excellent. Okay, going into pile number four. Let's go ahead and turn these cards around. Oh, oh my gosh, I love when these cards just go together. Pile number one was kind of like this too. Okay, so we have Queen of the Earth. We have the Root. We have Transformation. I mean, if those cards don't just go together, I mean, I don't know what does. Um, this is screaming root chakra, like hello, earth, root, transformation, you got like a plant, a little flower kind of growing out of here. Okay. So what I'm getting with this person operating very, very heavily <laughs> through their root chakra, um, this person's psychic ability is their ability to connect with the earth, its plants, and its animals. Um, you may have a harder time uh, connecting to people uh, the way you do plants and animals. Uh, basically, the earth and its uh, furry, feathery, scaly <laughs> inhabitants. Um, you know, so um, 
I really feel you're you're more of um, you know maybe somebody who loves to garden, loves to commune with the trees. You may actually hear or feel what plants need or the messages they have to give. Uh, you may work with uh, the fae. Maybe you're working with the fairy folk. Um, you may also, um, you know, maybe work in an animal shelter, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but working with animals, um, maybe you have a lot of pets of your own, maybe you have one pet of your own, uh, but it just seems like you just kind of know what they need. It's like you have ability to understand them that normal people can't do. Uh, so this is your psychic ability, your ability to connect deeply, knowing, um, what the earth needs, what the plants need, what animals need. Um, you're able to feel their emotions. You're able to sense their messages. Um, but you have, a, I mean, how, how much more clear does it have to be to say that you work through your root? You are of the earth, whether this is a man or a woman, um, person, you are of the earth. Um, you know, animals, plants, the earth needs people like you. Um, and your ability to sense their messages, sense their needs, their wants. Um, this is a fantastic uh, talent that you have. Uh, I would continue to cultivate this gift of yours. So excellent. Pile number four. All right, that's it, you guys. So those were all the four different piles. Maybe some of you guys listened to one pile. Maybe you listened to a couple of piles. Maybe you listened to all the piles. Uh, just remember that this was general. Um, however, I hope that you were able to get a message that you understood um, about your psychic abilities. I do believe that people have... Um, multiple clairs. <laughs> so like some people are really good with like clairaudiency, clairvoyancy, claircognancy, all the different kind of clairs, clairtangency, um, you know, uh, and I, I actually have a series, a psychic ability series. Um, and my episode six is coming out on Friday. So you might want to check that out where I kind of discuss in more detail like my view on psychic ability and what do I think of that and do I think there's just like certain people that have it? Do I think all people have it? Um, but uh, yeah, so definitely I think that this uh, video kind of ties in with my Friday video. So definitely go check that out. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you were able to get a good message. I hope you're able to interpret it um, easily for your yourself. And yeah, for dog this video, then uh, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, something that's not so general, then head over to www.kittensweetsandtarot.com. And if you head on over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash kittensweetsandtarot, have tons of different stuff for my homies over there. Um, I actually just did a guided meditation live stream um, about a few days ago. Uh, I have mediumship live streams. I have live streams where we're pulling cards, uh, you know, creating spreads specifically for my KWT tribe over there. Um, I do monthly crystal grids, weekly pulls, and, uh, you know, personal readings and healings for certain peeps over on my Patreon page. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. So definitely go over there, check it out. If you dig it, come join us. Okay. And that's it for me, spiritual homies. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this, please leave it in the comments section down below. Definitely know, let me know what pile or piles you picked and um, how it connected to you. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.